Here's a more updated look at the DIY uh, dirt cheap front loader that I made probably about two, three months ago. And I posted a video on the first one, but it wasn't tested yet. Anyway, I've made some, some big changes to it, especially weight reduction in the front. This bucket, this was all solid quarter inch steel. Uh, and, and I cut out the middle of it right here for a weight reduction. And I scrapped a, a gas stove basically like for cooking on and I used the side of that the sheet metal there and just welded it in there so far it's holding up and I, I just did this entire driveway with it so it's working very very well I can get a full scoop in here and uh you know the, the the ass end of the tractor doesn't come up everything works nothing broke I couldn't believe it anyway I just take uh shortened these front arms significantly these were long this was all one piece here and uh, I just shortened them, stacked them on top of each other, did some terrible farm welds on that. I didn't MIG weld it, that's why I'm not too good with the arc welder. Not yet, I'm working at it, you know. Paint and grind, or grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. That's basically what I was doing. Also, I reinforced between these two. I put this support here, or this piece of uh, pipe that I had. That's just uh, black pipe, I believe three quarter inch black pipe anyway and i put this guy up here too because these were flexing they were flexing in and out under load uh pretty bad so yeah that that helps significantly everything's real solid now everything else is holding up these supports here are holding up pretty well i'm surprised by that because these are just three quarter maybe one inch black pipe i'm not sure i'm going to reinforce them from here to here though just so these don't break or bend um what else today oh right now i'm just using a chain instead of the uh front cylinder i just haven't had the time to put that on yet that's quite a big project you know i gotta mount more um valves basically levers hydraulic yeah hydraulic lever valves up here i have a couple of them uh, laying around they were they were just you know old ones that i got for free or cheap in more lines but i already did my t Oh, I'll show you that weight here in a second, too. So, I went and got some plumbing stuff from the Home Depot, and I teed in uh, with the galvanized. This is three-quarter, three-quarter to half, and that's what I'm going to use for the feed in, you know, when I feed my new valves, basically, for that front cylinder. But it works really good without it, actually, just running that chain. I'm just not able to dump, you know. I can scoop exceptionally well. And it works really good. Um, this is huge. This is, it, I have to have a counterweight back here. Or uh, the, the butt end of the tractor was bobbing up and down pretty bad. Especially when it was longer, you know. So I definitely, I got this for free from my neighbor. He just gave it to me. He had it laying around. That thing's like 200 pounds. Um, but you can make one out of concrete if you're making one of these. And these tire chains I made, too, because I wasn't getting any traction, you know, just with the regular tires. So I made these. They're getting a little wacky now. i got to straighten them out and tighten it again. I'll probably just use some chains instead of paracord. But they've been working so far, and they're not getting any worse. So I might, you know, put it off probably. Uh, and, yeah, it's pretty quick. It works pretty good. I'm just hooked up to the tractor's uh, original mower deck raise and lower function you can see it so it had a hydraulic lift and raise function and here i'll start it up it's pretty quick too and that's throttled all the way down so i'm really happy with all right, that wraps it up for the detailed walk around for now. If you did like this video, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down in the uh, comment section. And I do my best to check them on a daily basis, my notifications. I'm getting better at it. Also, I'm constantly creating something, constantly building, pushing the envelope, rolling the dice, you know, I've made all sorts of crazy stuff, including those motorcycles over there. 
So I'm just now starting to pick up the camera more, and I'm, I'm getting better at my video editing. They're, they're not terrible, I hope. Um, yeah, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you were inspired. Uh, if you're trying to build the same thing and you have any questions, I will answer them to the best of my ability, You know what I do know and what I have learned. I do like this design a lot. So make sure you stay tuned and pay attention for more. Here's some action shots now. I was doing that driveway, it worked exceptionally well. I'm really happy that we had it. 